The 20th Annual Evening Times Local Heroes Awards paid tribute to individuals and groups which helped vulnerable people at a glamorous ceremony on Wednesday afternoon. The first awards were presented to four young heroes for their contribution to society. Laura Jane Sinclair was rewarded for befriending and supporting a young person with learning difficulties. Aaron Baines and Ian Scott's heroic rescue of an elderly couple from a burning building merited their praise, whilst Cam Glenn, community radio DJ and community health initiative volunteer, Alistair Blue was given a prize for his commitment to improving the health of his local area. A roar of delight greeted the announcement that Sunny Govan Community Radio, a station set up to help young people and those with disabilities enter the world of broadcast, had won the event's first group award for community spirit. I think probably just the commitment to the team of doing what it does to create Sunny Govan is diverse and reflective of the community. I would have to say that I think these efforts have certainly been rewarded today. Individual awards were then given to Margaret Bradley, who has raised more than £50,000 for charity, foster carer Danny Moran for setting up the youth football team at the music school, and Robert Gray for giving the Lornock youngsters the chance to grow their own food. The Health and Wellbeing Group Award was presented to Mixes and Matches Football Club for coaching disabled footballers in East Ayrshire. Coach Bobby McCorriston and members of the squad were on hand to accept the applause. To be given any award at all for something we love doing is just incredible, absolutely incredible. I think it's the, the simplicity of the idea and everybody being together, playing together, training together, smiling together, which is the most important thing. The next batch of awards were presented to long-term foster carers, James and Rona Connell, for their 28 years of dedicated parenting, Diane McWilliams for helping draw together her local community of Whitehinch, and Donald McFadden for caring for his brother who suffers from brain injuries. The final group award for breaking down barriers was then presented to visually impaired 10-pin bowling group, the Saltire Strikers, for providing a social scene for people suffering from full or partial blindness. Very unexpected but absolutely brilliant. Um, it will make such a big difference to our members. Um, having this extra money to be able to get them the equipment that we need to play in the league games, so it's absolutely amazing. David Pullen was then on hand to accept his award for helping befriend troubled youngsters, while sisters Nancy Fleming and Betty Bennett gained their awards for helping run a charity shop and being active fundraisers. The final local hero was Danny Williams. Danny helps run the Pollock Community Centre, Arts and Sports Clubs and is also a driver for Beetson Cancer Care Centre. Yeah!